You are here in the jungle of uh, Tafi Atome Monkey Sanctuary and Cultural Village to actually experience the nature of monkeys we have here. The kind of monkeys we have here are known as true Mona monkeys. They are very friendly, friendly to the extent of them sometimes being on your arms whilst you feed them. I will call them so that you experience their friendly nature. Ancestral belief and worship, it's a very indelible phenomenon across all cultures, tribes and races on this planet. Every life has a source. There is certainly an immeasurable level of fear and myth surrounding ancestral belief or worship in this part of the world. But believe it or not, there is a link from the past to the present and could be available through to the future. However, nature has its own ways of making creations depend and help one another. Yes, uh, you are here in the jungle of uh, Tafi Atome Monkey Sanctuary and Cultural Village uh, to actually experience uh, the nature of monkeys we have here. Um, the kind of monkeys we have here are known as true Mona monkeys. Um, they are very friendly, friendly to the extent of them sometimes uh, being on your arms whilst you feed them. Um, I will call them so that you experience um, they are friendly nature. Yeah, so as you can see, it has uh, just climbed up, I mean down from the up to take the banana. The cordial relationship between humans and the monkeys here in Tafi Atume is such a marvelous one see to see. Like cleaning it before, oh. uh -huh. peeling it. Yes. So as intelligent as they are, yeah. they put yeah. dirt on the bottom. Exactly. So they're very hygienic. More than 2,000 years ago, the soothsayers of Tafi, in their earlier location, commanded that the people leave to a new place where they will find these amazing monkeys. There, they will settle and coexist permanently. Uh, commanded them to live where they lived before. Uh, they, they should live there for a place where they would find these very monkeys. There they would like the people to settle permanently with, to settle and they make them their gods. Yeah. These monkeys do not stay with you for long due to trust issues. Well, uh, actually, they have always been this friendly. And, uh, but then there are times uh, when uh, you are in the forest and you want to feed them, you, you, but you tease them with the bananas. They don't like it. That is when they get a bit aggressive and could scratch you in the cause of struggling to get the bananas you are. After 1980, these monkeys started getting endangered due to the influx of Christianity in this community. 95% of the traditionalists were won over by the Christian missionaries, but the remaining 5% stood their grounds as core traditionalists. These became a conflict between the two religious sects, Putin Mother Nature at a major risk. 95% of the traditionalists to their side. The few 5% that was left, they were so stained on their belief that they did not want to give in to Christianity. Uh -huh. So it became a sort of conflict between the two. You know, Christians decided to destroy 
whatever was in the name of uh, 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 the traditionalists. So, well, there were some other people who also were interested in destroying nature anyway. So they hid under this confusion between Christians and non-Christians. And they took cutlasses, axes, guns, and jumped into this very virgin forest. They started to clear part of the forest for farms, you know, shooting the monkeys for food. And yes, just to prove that they no longer feared the gods. Uh -huh. So, you know, that destruction cost, I mean, I mean, minimized the number of the monkeys so much that um, the, the, uh, their population decreased and they began scared of people until 1993 when a coalition of villagers from this community, some NGO groups like Nature Conservation Research Center, USAID, Japanese Embassy, uh, by that time um, Ghana Tourist Board, now Ghana Tourism Authority, they came together and said, no, it used to be very beautiful in Tafia Tome. You could see animals, human beings living together. The forest serves as windbreaks to the community. It, it brings us a lot of rains in a very good pattern that makes our crops do very well. They see no reason why no, we should get up and destroy this. So by talking to the people gradually, they, st they stopped destroying them. And uh, in time, you know, it took a long of time for these monkeys again to regain that um, confidence in us. So, yeah, and um, the population was so small then because uh, before 1980, there were, there were dozens of uh, the troops here. Uh, each troop actually consists of between 120 and 140, yes. Uh, but in the incident of the killing of the monkeys, you know, they, they, they decreased to just two uh, troops. Uh -huh. But from after uh, we went back into protecting them, yeah, they, you know, they are multiplying again. And now we can boast of 16 different troops, 16 different troops. So that's basically Before 2022, domestic patronage of the sanctuary was very low. But at the time of our visit in the following year, 2023, nationals constitute the greater number of daily visitors. This sanctuary is worth a heritage. Everyone, together with the yet-to-be-born generations, owe nature the responsibility to keep this sanctuary and all its inhabitants alive. The breath to the ecological cycle is environmental conservation. The very reason forest guards Community members and staff of the Tafi Atome Monkey Sanctuary keep it a daily duty to protect the forest, which is the very safe and peaceful heaven for these wonderfully created animals and others.